ladies and gentlemen, it is not generally known that the island of Luana, or Polynesia to be Pacific. <laughs> oh, God. Has the largest female population in the world. And uh, when I say large, I don't mean numbers. I mean they are big. <laughs> God, they are big! Oh, the pains are coming back. But the average size of the average Luanese woman is 52. 19, because nothing will grow in the shade out there. <laughs> 38, but of course, they are not everyone's cups of tea. But personally, I look at it like this. <laughs> uh, they make my wife look like a midget, because my wife's only about, uh, about, uh, uh, about so high, and God, she is stupid. The other day they gave her the key to the city. She locked herself out. <laughs> Thank God, but while I was in Luana, I had the pleasure several times <laughs> of meeting the chief there and his 17 wives. <laughs> Seventeen, God, all that meat and no potatoes. <laughs> and he was a funny little fellow, you know, white hair and wizened old little gnarled hands, about 30. And he wrote a very beautiful song once, and it was only four verses long, and I have translated it into English. In English, it is called, She Was Only a Stockbroker's Daughter, But Everyone Got His Share. <laughs> Please yourself. Well, <laughs> he wrote these four verses, and before he could write the fifth verse, he got trapped in a revolving door with two hula hula dancers. Big ones! <laughs> and he was massaged to death. <laughs> <laughs> if you gotta go, that's the way to go. And it, however, I'm gonna sing his song. Now, there's only four verses. They're quite cute. So here we go with his Luanese. On the beach in Waikiki, there lives a lovely maid Who cannot keep her body still when her favorite song is played But if you sing the chorus in Hawaiian, they say that she'll appear Not only will she dance, but she'll give you her souvenir Her song goes <laughs> Manuna! <laughs> hey, Peter, Peter. No, no. Don't you know? Huh? <laughs> Ronnie, <clears throat> a little bit quicker. One day she bought a book so she could learn to water ski. Then she spent a fortnight looking for a sloping sea. But when she hooters in her long grass skirt, the excitement never stops. And all the farmers say they love the way that she rotates her crops to the tune of... Wa-lu-a-lay! Oolamata-lay! Oolamata-ta-na-wa-na-lay! Cavities are taking them and covered them with chocolate! Drink a pint of milk a day! Ooh-way! Manuna? <laughs> like a pigeon on a hot pavement. <laughs> Love to see her in 3D. That's my room number. <laughs> Third verse. We lay upon the sand one day beneath the cloudless skies. I bought her a crimson rose to match her bloodshot eyes. Oh, won't you get a little bolder? My shy young thing, I said. She got a little bolder and she dropped it on my head. <laughs> Manuna? Reminds me, I must get some hot cross buns for you. <laughs> Hang on to your hernia belts. <laughs> Fourth and last verse, okay. She said, you give me half a crown and I will read your palm. Then she saw my love line went halfway up me arm. So now she's changed her prices, although she's just as willing. It's big fat men at two pound ten and little boys a shilling. 
Come on, kids, all right! Ooh, what a nutty! I know how you feel. Verses in, we won't disappoint them. I'll tell you what, I'll give you a roll on the drum. <laughs> manuna, Manuna, Manuna. Yeah, just a minute, what does Manuna mean? It is what girls say to boy while walking through Cowfield. She say, don't tread in Manuna. 